Hi, Vialists. Let's take a look at essential element number 61. So first of all, like what we always do, we check the key signature first. And in this short exercise, we are in D major. So we have F sharp and C sharp. And as you probably browse through the music, you'll see that we don't have any F sharp in this um, four measure. So we're only going to be taking care of the C sharp. And just to make it easier for you afterwards, um, let's check what's the note below C sharp in a D major scale. So this is C sharp. One note below the C sharp, it's the B natural. And then one note above the C sharp in a D major scale, C sharp one note above, it's the D. And remind yourself that C sharp and D is only half step away from each other, so they are very close to each other. This is B, C sharp, and D. In this exercise, we're only staying on the A string. So find your angle on the A string, make sure that every, everything's in place and then we can put our left hand on the fingerboard now so starting from the first measure going slowly and count the rest out so you know you have time to prep for the coming up the measure first measure four three two one Now that you know what both of your hands are doing, let's try to challenge yourself for a better sound quality. So as you probably remember from before, I always emphasize that we pull the string instead of pressing down on the string. So when you pull the string, you use more weight from this part of your arm instead of pressing on your index finger. So Pull. Imagine that you're pulling with your elbow and extend your arm out and let's do it again. Try to find the sound that you like, that you, th you think is pleasant to your ear. One more time. Four, three, two, one. Pull the string. Now I'm setting the metronome to quarter note equals to 60 and I'm going to play through them twice. First time I'm going to focus on my left hand and make sure that you everything is in tune and you feel like your hand is in control. And the second time focus on your right arm, um, find the sound quality that you like and make sure that your bowl stays parallel to the bridge as you play. So I'll repeat twice, you can play along with me or you can um, observe what I'm doing. Four, three, two, one. That'll be it for this exercise. Have fun practicing.